Die Hard have to do with the new John Cena movie? What was the WWF associated with uh, Die Hard in some way? Did they did they make that film? And another thing is, what has this got to do with the topic of your video? It, you, did you just have to fit in some Cena bashing? I, I don't get it. You're talking about TNA, yet you still have to bash WWE at the start. Why not you do a comparison video about TNA, you know? This is an old video I'm responding to of his about two months old, or three months old, I don't know. And um, a friend asked me to, to do a response to it, and I couldn't help it, but I, I, I just had to when, once I'd watched it again. Right, you want me to make a more serious wrestling video? I'll make a more serious wrestling video. I hope you're not talking about this one, because this video that I'm responding to is a joke. Um, but I'd much rather you just didn't make videos at all. That would that would suit me just fine. Assumption is that the wrestling fan base, the fans out there, will just openly embrace the young stars of TNA, the X Division, in the absence of the veterans. See, I haven't heard this assumption from anybody. I've heard people say, I want to see the young guys get pushed, and I want to see certain older guys get fired, but I've never seen people directly say that. But I'll continue the argument as I go on, um, even though it's a, a, a straw man. So I'm not going to argue the straw man, I'm going to argue what people are probably saying, not what you think they're saying. Basically, they're assuming that these young TNA stars are somehow destined for greatness. And from that, form the opinion that all that needs to happen is for these older guys like Steiner and Booker T to just step aside and the world will just automatically love and embrace these new young TNA stars in the X Division and their product quality will skyrocket and TNA will become golden. Which is absolutely ridiculous. And see, that's your straw man. It's ridiculous because you're taking the argument you're changing the argument of what most people are saying, and I know that's what most people are saying because I've said it, and you're changing it to sound ridiculous. People aren't saying that they should just get rid of all the veterans and just replace them with the young guys, and then the product will become gold. Nobody's ever said that. You know, um, people have said certain aspects of the product will become better, such as the in-ring action, etc. But you're creating, as I said, a straw man argument to argue your point. It doesn't work. I, you know, anybody with half a brain can see through the bullshit. That's not what people are saying. Right, but that's what happens when you base an opinion off a major assumption like that. You end up depending on that assumption to beat the odds to try to be true. You know, it's not really an assumption. Uh, there are these things called, uh, you know, TV ratings, you can break it down into quarters and see who've got the highest rated segments. You've got these things called pay-per-view buy rates, and you can have a look at it and see who's in the main event, the main event being the most important match on the card. And, you know, you can look at those numbers and compare who drew the most numbers consistently. Let's have a look at these numbers. Let's say Samoa Joe. He's one of the TNA originals and one of the new guys. Let's have a look at some of the buy rates for him. Okay, I've always wanted to do this. Let's do some maths with you. Uh, 2007, 2008, these are the estimated pay-per-view buy rates and a bit of 2006, and I think missing the arse end of a few uh, shows. But anyway, 10 pay-per-views, Joe main event as champion, 10 pay-per-views, Kurt Angle. Joe being TNA original, young guy, blah, blah, blah. The numbers are all there. You can pause and have a look. Joe did, over 10 pay-per-views, 326,000 buys over 10. That means his average was 32. 1,600 buys on average pay-per-view. Kurt Angle, he did 317 over 11 pay-per-views, which means his average was 28.8181, etc. And that, that, that'll go on forever. Let's just, for numbers' sake, take a bit that his uh, title match with Abyss, where he defended his title, three titles in one night or whatever it was. Um, I think it was, anyway. Uh... That would be 300 divided by 10, which is still only 30,000 buys on average. Hopefully this simplifies things for you and shows you that if you put a young guy in the main event, put the title on him, things aren't going to crumble. You know, even if you dispute the numbers or want to do your own method to it, Joe will still come out, you know, equal to, if not above Kurt Angle in pay-per-view buy rates. Um, which make more money than television ratings do for them, as televi television ratings are rather irrelevant because they earn no money from um, 
from advertising deals from Spike TV. Anyway, there's that. All right? Don't these idiots ever think about who would happen if the assumption proved faulty? What would happen if TNA got rid of all these big name stars and the world didn't love AJ Styles and the world didn't love Alex Shelley and the company tanked? All right, what then? I'll tell you what then. Then TNA would go back to where they were before, losing $7 million a year. Over you know, a course of five years, they lost $35 million a year. Then what would happen? Well, uh, either they'd, uh, well, there's no either about it. Panda Energy would pick up the bill like they always do. They always have. And they probably always will, as long as uh, Dixie Carter is running TNA. Um, the thing is, we're not saying get rid of the old guys, bring in the new guys, just, just fire them. Here's the thing, they're not making a lot of money now. They're making either a little bit of money or losing a little bit of money. Nobody knows exactly. It's around the breaking even point. But <clears throat> what would happen if all these guys, veterans who were there already, all got injured to the point where they had to retire or you know, just injured over, and they were gone for six months to a year or something, and you were left with mid-carders, and you didn't put them over when you had the chance to. You'd be in a worse position than you would have been if you had put them over early um, and shown the fans that they're worth something. That's what we want to see. We want to see AJ Styles and Samoa Joe given the torch with the backing of the older guys. That's it. Um, you know, <clears throat> it's, better, uh, it's a better long-term investment. How long do you think Sting's going to be around? Um, how, do you how long do you think Kurt Angle's going to be around with this shitty neck? How, do how long do you think Mick Foley's going to be around? Scott Steiner, he can't feel anything in one leg. He nearly died last year. Kevin Nash, 49 years old. His most um, frequently used move is the running quad tear. Uh, Jeff Jarrett will probably be the only guy who stays, and he's, not, he's probably the least over of all those guys. Um, <clears throat> so, look, it's not a matter of us wanting to see it. It's a matter of TNA having to do it if they want to establish business over the long term. And what happens if it is a success? They're going to make more money than what they would with the veterans, and they probably wouldn't have to pay the young guys as much as the veterans because they're not as old, and they're not um, needing the money as much. Based off buy rates, they could potentially succeed more than what the old guys have. Um, the lifeblood of any promotion is bringing in new fans, and how are you supposed to bring in new fans if you're targeting the, the old fans from the 90s? It's, 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 it's ridiculous. It's an asinine theory. I think the problem is, is that these nerds are using this like little geeky YouTube community as a reference for what the entire wrestling fan base wants. We like the X Division, therefore wrestling likes the X Division, right? Wrong. You know, you don't have to lace your attacks with ad hominem attacks. That's my job because I'm targeting you. You're not. You're just. You're just uh, attacking a whole group of people, and that's wrong. Um, <laughs> But uh, anyway, you know, by calling us a bunch of nerds and geeks doesn't discredit our opinion, and you're assuming that people won't like what we like. But I'll let you continue. Okay, don't these idiots ever stop to realize how unappealing the X Division is to a lot of people, how silly it looks, not just to casual fans, but to a lot of wrestling fans across the board. Okay, let's see how unappealing the X Division is. I'm going to go through some segment by segments from the Wrestling Observer newsletter um, from various editions of Impact. 23rd of April, Impact Beer Money versus Jay Lethal and Consequences Creed, Creed gained 15,000 viewers. Um, Eric Young and Jethro Holiday versus No Limit gained 29,000 viewers. Uh, the 16th of April, uh, segment by segment, Chris Sabin versus Tate. Tetsuya Naito vs. Homicide added 133,000 viewers, which is a great showing for an undercard quality match. On the 2nd of April, uh, in the segment by segment, 8-man uh, tag team match, no, Team No Limit, um, and Kiyoshi and Sheikh Abdul Bashir vs. Uh, Lethal Consequences and LAX gained 74,000 viewers. Uh, 26th of, of March, Suicide vs. Kiyoshi gained 35,000 viewers. The 19th of March, Chris Saban and Alex Shelley versus No Limit lost uh, 67,000 viewers. So, you know, they can lose them as well as gain them. Uh, the 5th of March, Alex Shelley versus Kiyoshi gained 28,000 viewers. Look, the, if it's so unappealing, people, will, it would be losing viewers and not gaining them. And these are undercard um, matches which are gaining viewers. Sometimes, you know, sometimes they're losing them, sometimes they're gaining some. Sometimes they're gaining as many as the main event segments did. 
it's 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 ridiculous to say that it's unappealing because obviously it appeals to some demographic of the fans uh, because otherwise it would be losing viewers. <laughs>